In this video, I will draw the 3s and 3px atomic orbitals in the hydrogen atom using wolframalpha.com. So over here, I just typed up contour plot of 27 minus 18 times r plus 2r squared times e to the power of negative r over 3. All right, just like this, except that r is replaced with its mathematical expression. r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. I also specified the range for x, y, and z. x, y, z. I set z to 0 to make this contour plot on the x, y plane. Well, Wolfram Alpha was not able to understand the expression interpreting as contour. It's a word. So I simplified the expression here. Again, it's this equation. But in this case, because I set z, uh, z to 0 anyway, I just removed z. So over here, r is just the square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay, again, you're looking at 27 minus 18r plus 2 times r squared times e to the power of negative r over 3, this function. So this time, Wolfram Alpha was able to draw the 3s atomic orbital. However, it does not show the nodal plane. So I want to show you where the nodal planes are. They're both spherical nodes. One at... Um, a uh, R of 1.9 atomic unit. So 1.9. Yeah, it's a it's a little hard to see here. This one, another one, 7.1, 7.1. So around seven. So this one, this two are the spherical nodes. Unfortunately, uh, Wolfram Alpha does not show the nodal plane clearly. Uh, I would recommend them to use maybe a dash line, dash circle to specify the nodal surface here. Anyway, you can also use Wolfram Alpha to calculate the positions of the two spherical nodes by entering this and hit equal sign or hit enter. Uh, when you set this uh, equation to zero, well, part of the 3s wave function, you get two roots, 1.9, 7.1. All right. So now let's work on the 3px orbital. So again, I was just uh, entering this uh, expression here, x times 6 minus r times e to the power of negative r over 3. I set the range. Uh, so it's just exactly the same here. This equation is the same as this equation except r is replaced by its um, mathematical expression in terms of x, y, and z. So if we look at the results, you're not going to see any. Uh, it's a little too complicated. Standard computation time exceeded. So again, I removed z, because anyway, I set z to 0. So I removed z. As you can see now, r is just the square root of x squared plus y squared. Again, you're looking at x times 6 minus r times e to the power of negative r over 3. This is 3px atomic orbital. So now you look at this. Well, wonderful. We have this 3px atomic orbital. And I want to tell you the sign of each lobe. Uh, this is positive, negative, positive, negative. There are two nodes. When r equals 6, we have a spherical node, okay? When r equals 6, so this is 6, this is 6. So when r equals 6, we have a spherical node. Now when x is 0, we have a planar node. So when x is 0, we have a planar node. So on the two sides of a node, you should have two opposite signs. So over here, this one is positive. Why? Because in this region, x is positive. And a 6 minus r is positive. So if this is positive, this part has got to be negative. And then this part is positive. 
and this part is negative. Again, positive, negative, positive, negative. We have two nodes, one spherical node at r equals six. The other is a planar node when x is zero.